Hey guys, Michael here. I hope you're all doing well. I've uh, taken the liberty here of uh, kind of uh, explaining a little bit. I've heard a lot of people talking about the big dust storm that's coming into the United States here. Uh, well, as a matter of fact, it's technically here. <laughs> At least in the southeast United States it is. Uh, and while I admit this is a, this is a pretty sizable event, uh, I want to show you that this is nothing new. Uh, this is something that happens around this time every year. Uh, it it's, uh, happens when the wind flow comes off of the, the, uh, the Sahara Desert in Africa. And the Sahara Desert's kind of off the screen here, but it's over there. And the wind flow, until the monsoon season gets really going out there, and there's actual storms with more moisture in them, as the uh, intertropical convergence zones we call it moves north, uh, a lot of... Uh, Dust is picked up from the Saharan, de the Saharan Desert, and it, in the uh, trade winds, it actually gets pushed from east to west across the Atlantic. And uh, this is from June 25th of 2018. This is such an event that, as I said, this is what we refer to as the Sal, the Saharan air layer, this area of dusty, warm, hot, uh, very, uh, very low moisture type air. As you can see here, it, that that uh, image from there went all the way across the Atlantic there. A few days later, you could still see it uh, coming into the southeast United States there a little bit. So some of it's still going across the Atlantic here. And even some more of it coming off the Africa coast. Um, last year, on the 17th, here's another such event. Uh, again, right about the same time every year. And you can see a big plume there. And then on the 20th, you can see it moving all the way into the uh, into the uh, Atlantic. Oops. And then here, on the 22nd of last year, you can actually see it coming in the Caribbean and, and it's starting to impede in the Gulf into Florida. Now, the thing about the uh, these things is it really makes uh, very nice sunsets because you're putting dust in the air. So this the skies will turn a little bit redder. Kind of a reddish hue, and in some cases even spectacularly, uh, but uh, particularly in place like Florida or just where I came from, here was at just uh, a week or so ago, uh, yeah, in the uh, Florida Keys down toward toward Key West, and like and even uh, down there toward the, uh, mainland Cuba, uh, can uh, it can make some for some really beautiful sunsets, uh, but it's not uncommon. Now here is on the fifteenth of this year. Big plume coming off the African coast. I also want to point your attention that north of this, there is a gigantic, <laughs> actually a series of pretty large Atlantic storms too. I think in part, part of the reason that maybe this this flow this year's is is a little bit more intense than other years is I think it has in part to do with how much it is being pulled off of the African coast from the flow off of these big Atlantic storms. But uh, as you can see here on the 15th, here's the 18th, you know, nice big, big plume coming off. The storm, the uh, Atlantic storms have lifted more to the north, um, allowing for that stable air to kind of come fill, fill in behind it. And hence you get more and more of this dust. Here it was on the 20th, 23rd, already coming, coming into the Caribbean. And look at there, an, t another, uh, big piece of uh, sow coming off the African coast and another big si Atlantic system kind of north of that. And then here was yesterday. Again, the there's the initial one. It's already coming into the southeast part of the United States. Uh, some of that looks like it may have even got pulled up a little bit further north, maybe into the, even to the, uh, into the eastern part of the country toward the Midwest there. But, uh, but as you can see, there's the other the other event right there, still getting pulled off as we speak. So the bottom line is, yeah, it's a doozy this this time around, uh, and it's uh, actually a series of them. Uh, but it's not uncommon. We have these every year, and if you're an allergy sufferer, or you're or you you don't do well with you know with allergens, particularly dust, like myself, uh, you may uh, experience more symptoms than usual so don't uh don't think it don't think it's something 
that, you know, that this is the end of the world or anything like that. Uh, and you probably will also see some sunsets that look a little redder than usual. But that should be the extent of it. Um, I know if you if, in aviation, you know, you know, to keep those engines clean and everything. I know they have to, uh, but it's all part of their their flight pre-flight checks anyway. So uh, all the precautions are in place. No need, no need to worry about it. Uh, just enjoy this event, if you will, that happens. Like I said, right around this time every year, and because it is stable air coming into the Atlantic Basin, and particularly those portions of the Atlantic Basin, tends to rob, uh, dry out moisture for hurricanes as well. So and you know, we've already had an active start to the uh, tropical season. Matter of fact, I think that right there is actually what's left over of what was briefly Tropical Storm Dolly. Um, I think it may actually been a subtropical system, but uh, uh, you know, kind of a busy start to uh, the 2020 Atlantic hurricane season. However, uh, the the uh, the dust coming off the African coast will will kind of continue to help. It'll keep uh, these systems at bay, um, at least for the short term. So right now, what's happening? Not necessarily a bad thing. <laughs>